guys, what's going on? It's Catman227 here, and I'm back with some more Overwatch 2. And today, I'm talking about my personal experience, and thoughts, and feelings, and all that shit about Life Weaver. So, Life Weaver, I had a lot of concerns with it. I'm sure a lot of you can uh, sympathize with me. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you ha actually had the same thoughts as I did, because, you know, whenever he was first. Uh, teased and his abilities were leaked and everything like that. Every video, uh, trailer, uh, social media post, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anything, always seemed to have a majority of the comments be about his abilities being used for trolling. Well, I also, like, I don't know, that's a little iffy now that he's actually come out and I've actually played a few games with my teammates being Life Weaver, which me and Duke uh, and Lightning, we conducted an experiment where we did not choose the character. Uh, we actually would just let random people that we played with pick Life Weaver and just see how a majority of people use him. And so far, they've been using him pretty well. Um, so, as you know, his. Um, his ultimate ability puts down the big tree and you're not able to actually walk through it. Our fear was that we were going to get stuck on it or try to retreat and it would fuck us up. Well, that still can happen, but a majority of people don't just put it smack dab in the middle of like where you're walking. Sometimes they put it like off to the sides, you know. And then you can still get the healing that way because it has a little aura effect. So, that's a majority of the people that we've played with have been good teammates. They've actually, like, saved us. They've actually done pretty well and did the best they can. Now, I'm not a huge fan of his primary healing, which is this. I can't have it getting worse. Because that does not do a lot. Um... So he's definitely not a main healer, and trying to focus heal two people is really difficult, especially whenever you get slowed down because of said healing. So, <clears throat> I will talk about the bad stuff first, get that out of the way, then I'll talk about the good stuff, then I'll talk about potential changes you can make to the character to make the bad stuff not as bad. So, one, this... This healing for needs state. to be slightly increased. Just slightly. Just because that's not a lot of healing. At all. Like, that's not gonna save hardly anybody. I, like, it's just not gonna save hardly anybody. Plus, it still takes time for the projectile to fly through the air. And, and the further back you are, the longer it takes to hit. Better? So, and it's just not that much. See, like there? I fired it while the it, while the ally was still alive, but it's still see it's just it's not very good. I don't like I don't like this. See there you go again. Couldn't save him. See and then if you don't fully charge it, you only get a tiny amount of healing, and a majority of the time your ally is gonna Some die healing? because it's just not enough healing. So it either make make the projectile speed instantaneously or increase the amount of health. Either or would be fine. Um, but, that's my little gripe with that. This, I'm not too I'm not too worried about that. This what is you, okay. I think? The primary fire, it's okay. I don't think he was really, I mean, he's a support. He's not really made for a, to do a lot of damage. And you can do a lot of damage if you get a, a bunch of headshots. And I do like the spread on it. It's kind of like a shotgun oh, spread. You can kind of see it like that. So, I like that. I like this little mechanic right here. That's okay. So, that's my thoughts about the primary and secondary. Um, he is going to be getting a, uh, like, a controls <laughs> redesign pretty soon. So, like, a button layout stuff to make his abilities a little easier to, to use. But, I don't know. As he is right now, I, I don't really have any major issues with it. The ultimate. So let's say this is like your choke point. Okay, let's say you're on like a payload or whatever. Majority of people don't just put the tree right here. They put it off to the side. And I have noticed this. A lot of people actually do do this. 
They put life on some protects side. life. That way your team can still get the healing, because you're still within range. <clears throat> and this doesn't, you don't get stuck on it because it's not really in your way. So, I like that. Now, this still can gone. be used Find for cover. trolling. Uh, this can be used for trolling for the simple fact that, uh, you, like, let's say you have a teammate who's trying to retreat down these stairs, and he's just, you know, he's shooting at an enemy, like that, and the enemy's trying to kill him, and he's trying to back up, and you put the tree right there, and block him in here, well then, yeah. He could still very much kill you. Like, yeah, you're gonna be getting healed from it, but if it's a Roadhog and you're like an Ana, you see what I'm saying? Like, uh, you're gonna get killed. So, even with the, the healing buff. Uh, cause you're, you just, you're trapped and you can't do anything. Um, uh, but, most of the time, so far, I haven't encountered anyone who's intentionally trying to be toxic with Life Weaver, so, that's good. Um, so his ultimate, I think, it's fine. There's really nothing to gripe about with that as long as teammates continue to use it, you know, correctly and put it off to the side and not in people's way. Uh, you could use it as natural cover, like I guess if you are one of those rare people that communicate with randoms, um, you could maybe say, hey, I'm gonna put it direct huh. center, you put it in the direct center, then you could kind of shoot around it, like, like, cover. That would be okay. Um, but you'd have to communicate with that. Now, enough about the ultimate. Let's talk about this. Flow. Okay. That little dash ability. I don't like it for the simple fact that it's never once saved me. Uh, I do use it a lot. Uh, I do use it quite a bit to try to, to get around corners and stuff. But never once has it actually saved me. And normally it does. Now it does heal you. So uh, if we come over here, and take some damage. And take a little bit more than that. And okay, a little bit more. So dash out. Look at that little bit of health. That's pathetic. This ability, like in that time frame. You're all, like, if you're getting, if you're in a fight, you're only gonna have enough time to use it once. And then it's a five second cooldown. During that time, you're gonna get shredded if you're at low health. So, what I would do to, to honestly, what I, what I heavily suggest you do is if you're about at, I don't know, this much health, use it. Asylum. Don't wait until you're half health, uh, because, I mean, if you're at like 150 health, use it. Just use it. Don't wait until you're at half because, or lower than that, because you're just dead. And if you try to use it to round a corner, sometimes it'll be successful. Like if you're trying to run away from somebody, you could use it In to flow. finish going around the corner. Uh, but I've never had any success, and I've played a lot of Life Weaver. I've never had success actually using it as an escape around a corner and actually live. Uh, Diva bombs and roadhog hooks and st stuff like that will still kill me either way. So enough about that. We're going to go Need a lift? to that ability right there. Okay, this, I see people do this a lot. They just do what I just did and they throw it down right here in front of your teammates. Um, so this is good because, you know, the enemies are not going to be directly shooting at this. But, <clears throat> what I would do is, um, now, obviously this is used to, to like, him. get up and, like that. To get up to the high ground. Uh, and you could use it to, like, snipe and, you know, get up here and do that kind of stuff. Or, or even just to heal. The you used to do stuff like that. <laughs> but, I see a lot of people just Time for throw that bitch down. And then what happens is people step on it, then immediately walk the fuck off of it because they're not expecting it. So, honestly, what I would do is just ping it. Like, oh, that's not ping. If you throw Come it down. On. An enemy here. Okay. Enemy here. That. An enemy okay. here. So, that doesn't actually work. So, never mind. 
I didn't realize that wouldn't work. So yeah, so there's really no trick to this. It's kind of just you have to communicate, which most players don't because talking to randoms can be troublesome a majority of the time. So if you're going to use this ability, uh, communicate with your party members like like how I would do with like Duke or Lightning. I would be like, okay, throwing a flower, and then we can make a plan. Like, oh, I'll throw the flower down, you get on it, and stuff like that. Um, and this could also be used against the uh, the enemy as well. So, like, if there's a Reinhardt coming at you, you can throw that down. And if, if you have good aiming, you can throw this down, take your enemy Reinhardt, and lift him up into the air. That way he can't shield his teammates for a couple of seconds. Then that could maybe give your team a free pick on their team. So, yeah, that's good. But it could also, if you do it wrong like this, Climb aboard. you could really screw up your own teammates as well. So you really need to be careful of that. Um, now, the big one. Safety in numbers. Life grip. So, that should do life it. grip, I've only seen people use it good. Uh, so far, you are not actually able to pull people off the map. I've tried to do it with my friends. I've tried to do it with the training bots here. It is not possible for you to stand on the edge of something like this and actually pull them off the map. And even if this barrier wasn't here, you still can't do it. Um, I've tried it multiple times. There's just no efficient way of doing it. And you could probably... Okay, there's no really good place to demonstrate here, but I've actually had, um, I've had Lightning and me both stand on this, and he jumped off and tried to life grip me to come with him, and it, it just doesn't work. So, they thought about that, there's no way to pull people off the map with life grip, so what come I would here, do is you? just, Something this strategy this works like a charm, you just pull them out of position, and immediately start healing them again. Uh, potentially even Hold throwing on. this down and then pulling them up on top of the flower. Um, that would work as well. And then you could you could <laughs> heal them and do whatever you need to do. Uh, so life grip, I'm not too too worried about it anymore. Now it still can be troublesome because let's say I'm up here and I'm healing my teammates Can't from down there. Okay, and I see my Genji jump off of that, and he's gonna use his ultimate to drop down on the, the enemy team and try to kill him, and I life strip Stay him here. away. Now he just wasted his Dragon Blade um, because I pulled him out of position too early. So you have to be aware of that. If the Genjis are like at 2 HP, then yeah, maybe try to go for the life grip, but try to let him finish his ultimate before you pull him out. If it's, if it's possible. Now, if he's, like, got that much health left and he's still going with the Dragon Blade, you could possibly just throw some health orbs at him. That would probably be the more beneficial thing because if you just yank him out, you're going to piss me. him off and he's not <laughs> going to want to help you or be a team player at that point because you made him waste his ultimate. So, and that would probably piss me off as well if somebody did that, especially if I got, like, two kills and I'm about to get a third and they life grip me away. Yeah. <clears throat> I've done that with Lightning as well. I've life gripped him away and he didn't get to finish off the person he was shooting because I pulled him away. Um, so yeah, it, it's just you really need to get used to the whole life here, grip timing you? thing. Better? Um, now, the last thing I can't really demonstrate, but when, when Life Weaver dies... His body, just like Junkrat, drops an item behind. So, but instead of a cluster bomb, he drops a flower. If an enemy picks it up, and enemies can pick it up, they will receive health upon picking up your flower from your dead body that is the equivalent to a small health pack. But if your teammates pick up your flower that you drop whenever you die, they get a large health pack, or the equivalent to a large health pack. So, the problem with this is, you're already not supposed to die 
in Overwatch. Dying is like the worst thing you could possibly do if you're trying to win a fight. But with Life Weaver, he's probably the most like whenever he dies, it's tremendously damage. Like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It he is, it's devastating because every time he dies, he's giving the enemy potential to heal. Even if it's just a small health pack, it could still be a life or death situation. For example, let's say Lightning's a Cassidy, and um, he's dueling a Hanzo. Hanzo gets a fully charged shot to his head, instantly kills Lightning. Now, I'm defenseless. Or, even a better, a better situation. They're having a 1v1, and I'm healing him. Okay, just trying to keep him alive, just near. Yeah. You know, just doing whatever I can to keep Lightning alive. But, and then, instead of going after Lightning, the Hanzo headshots me and kills me. And if he's lower on health, and Lightning's at full health, well, I just gave the Hanzo something to heal off of. So if he gets it first, now he's got the advantage and potentially one-shots and kills Lightning. So... In that kind of scenario, although rare, can happen. And 1v1 scenarios do happen somewhat often. And if I see Lightning having a 1v1, I'm going to, and I'm a, a support, especially if I'm Life Weaver, I'm going to try to heal him through that 1v1 to give him an edge to win it. Um, but um, if, if they're having that little duel and the Hanzo's at. 50 something HP lightnings at 200 or 180 something or 190 something he's got the advantage you know lightning would have the advantage in that fight but if I get killed because the Hanzo uses like storm arrow or something like that and headshots me and kills me and he picks up my little health flower well now he's got more health that he could potentially use to kill lightning and then he would win that fight, and then regroup with his team, that he'd get fully healed by his healers, uh, yeah, and then he would get his ultimate, pop it, and kill everybody. Uh, it would be just terrible if that happened, especially in ranked, uh, which could happen in ranked as well. I've seen it happen. But, um, now the good parts of Life Weaver, it's, it's kind of even. Honestly, like, if you if you measure the pros and the cons, all of Life Weaver's abilities, as we discussed, can be used for trolling and can unintentionally troll your teammates and screw them over. But, if used correctly, he could be one of the most powerful supports in the game, so it just depends on how you use him. Which, that's just like all heroes. But he has the most potential to just completely screw everything up in your entire match. So, like, like this. It's like, oh, you're about to kill that enemy? Well, you know, come here. I have you. See? Like, it's just not, and then that enemy gets away, then heals, and so, and I have seen some comments. I've seen a lot of comments. I've seen more comments of people being scared that people are going to troll with Life Weaver, but I've also seen a bunch of comments admitting that they're going to use him for trolling those are the people that I'm scared of the people who actually want to pick this character just so they could be like oh yoink fuck you waste your ultimate you know type of deal so now my personal opinion do I like or hate this hero I do I hate him no do I think there are much better options than Life Weaver? Yes. Um, I do think it's more beneficial to pick a Mercy, a Moira, uh, a Baptiste, and a Brig, even an Ana and a Zin, and in some cases, Kiriko and Lucio. Just, in any support, in my opinion, is better than Life Weaver. Uh, in a lot of scenarios. The only redeeming <laughs> quality that makes Life Weaver able to be picked over anyone else is the Life Grip ability. Is this. 
You're better off with me. That is the only, like literally the only redeeming factor about this character. This Windborn. ability is kind of ass. Doesn't really benefit anybody or you that much. Time for this is, situ is so situational to to have to use it. It's almost not even worth having the ability anyway. Um, his healing is mediocre at best. Healing's better, I hope. Mediocre at best. Like it, it's just this ability just sucks so many different ways. This is okay. I, I have nothing really bad to say about this. This has the potential, if placed, you know, here, to block your way and fuck you all up. Um, but placed here, it might not be so bad. So it's kind of just like. I don't know. It's the little decisions you make that make this character good or bad. But I still think it's more beneficial to pick a different healer over him. So do I hate him? No. Do I hate it when people pick him? No. But I do think every other healer is just better or a better option than Lifeweaver. They just have better kits, in my opinion. Um... The only other one be that I would say isn't is Anna, and that's only because she has little to no movement options other than just her base walking speed. So <coughs> that being said, uh, if you're going to choose Life Weaver, on a final note, if you're going to choose this <laughs> character, um, do not pick him as your main support. Pick him as an off healer. Um, you would need a main healer uh, such as Moira, Mercy, Baptiste, or Kiriko. If you've got one of those four supports, then choose Life Weaver. If you've got an Ana, or a Brig, or a Lucio, or a Zenyatta, you may not want to pick Life Weaver. Uh, because he's just not going to do very well <laughs> when it comes to his his main you know heal, which is this you know, which is this is the one you're going to be using most of the time. He does have his ultimate, which you know, life protects life. It heals a lot, but it's your ultimate. You're not going to be able to use this whenever you want. You're going to be stuck with this little rinky dink heal, and that just doesn't do much. Uh, Take cover. So, the tree is gone. So that's my opinion. That's my thoughts on Life Weaver. If you guys have enjoyed this video or agree with me, let me know in the comments below. And if you disagree with me and think I'm just stupid, please let me know in the comments below as well. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what your opinion is and what your experience is with Life Weaver. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Later!